We're here at the Community Appreciation Party at the NASCAR Hall of Fame and I've got Keith from Astute Networks. Keith, how are you enjoying the party so far? Well, I just walked in, but I'm having a great time already. That's awesome. And how have you liked Past Summit this week? It was my first time at a Past Summit and frankly, it's one of the better shows I've been to. I've been to a lot of shows, but from a quality point of view and from an interest and in, in, uh, intellectual aspect, it's been a great show. That's awesome. And you've been down in the Expo Hall this week? I have. As a matter of fact, uh, I've been manning one of the booths part-time. Uh, a lot of interesting presentations and people and uh, had a good time. Great. And who have you spoken to this week and what sort of things have they been asking you about Astute Network? Well, we've had a lot of people come by uh, curious about what we do, obviously. Uh, we're a bit unique in terms of the exhibitors. We have a high-performance flash appliance to accelerate database accesses. And uh, a lot of people come by, ask us questions and go, well, really, can you do that? That's kind of interesting and we're hoping they'll take that message back to their companies and we'll see uh, a lot of interest in the product as a result. Great. And are you planning to go on the race car simulators later tonight? I will. If I can get my way to the front of the line, I'll do that for sure. It looks like a lot of fun. Thanks, Keith. So what's really distracting is standing here doing all the interviews and what you can't see behind the camera is some of the oldest cars that, that are just in NASCAR history. This place is amazing. I was visiting a little bit with Christy and she came all the way from Scotland, is yeah, that right? That's right, yeah, from Edinburgh. <laughs> Adam? Edinburgh. There. And so she flew all the way across the ocean to come and do the past experience. It took her 17 hours, stop in London, a stop in Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. What I'm really curious is, why did you come to the past summit, and what do you think of this? Is this is this overwhelming? T tell me what you're thinking. Um, I wouldn't say it's overwhelming, but it's really good how many people are here, and basically chose it because we know it's the biggest one in the world and probably the best one for SQL Server. So, um, but I think it's been really useful, and the sessions have been really good. Any any tips for for somebody who hasn't come before? Maybe they're going to come and visit us next year in Seattle. Yeah, the main thing I would say, I guess, is um, if you're choosing sessions, to choose more than one in each time slot because. I found some of them get really full, especially the more popular ones. So if you if you have a backup session, then that's a really good thing to have. It's a great tip. Um, and so just another off the wall type question. Do you think we're crazy because we like to drive these at 200 miles an hour? Um, no, not really. I mean, I guess it's kind of like Formula One, which I have back home. So <laughs> That's it. We're, yeah. we're not friends anymore, Krista. <laughs> this, this is it. This is NASCAR. Hey, we're going to go talk to some other people. I okay. thank you so much for your opinion, no and uh, we look forward to seeing you around maybe thank next you. year. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you never know. Thanks, okay. Christy. Thank I appreciate it. Okay. I'm here with Mark Caldwell at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Mark, what are you enjoying most about the night so far? Well, this is just fantastic here. The, the history is amazing. Plus, there's a race simulator over here I can't wait to get into. And it looks like right behind us here, we're doing pit stops. It's just phenomenal. You get the experience, and the history really is amazing of American racing. And what about the training sessions today? What was your favorite session of the day? Well, it was. Uh, I did a lot of variety, but really, Dr. DeWitt this morning was the best, I think. just He's great year after year, and I uh, just love the details, although he does make my brain hurt after a while. <laughs> That's great, Mark. And uh, what sessions will you be attending tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I'm probably going to be looking at some of the professional development sessions and uh, also trying to pick up any more details I can on the, uh, the Power BI stuff. Did you get into any karaoke this week? I didn't hit the karaoke, but I did do a lot of the after hours events. It was a great time. I uh, really appreciate some of the vendors putting on special parties and uh, just all, the, all the, the hospitality here in Charlotte has been phenomenal. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. So I'm, I ran into a friend of mine, somebody I've known for quite a long time, Kathy Kalenberger. Um, did I, am I even saying that right? I just assumed that I always close. have. Kellenberger. Kellenberger. Right. Now, <laughs> Kathy and I were just visiting about how many years we've come to this summit. You've been coming since 2003, right. and you've only missed one. Right. Missed last year. That's it. And so now, you've been speaking for how many of these that you... I, I can't remember exactly. I've spoken probably at three of them, and I'm speaking tomorrow. So, so out of curiosity, and I know I didn't warn you about this, why? Why do you keep coming back? Why is this such a great event? I, I, I don't know what it is. It's my favorite week of the entire year. I think it's SQL Community. I think it's my passion about SQL Server. But almost every year, last year there were some extenuating circumstances, but I usually say I'm going to make it to pass if I have to walk. You know, and 
you know, that's how I feel about it. So I, I'm not sure what it is, but it's, it's, I think it's the, it's the family, it's the community, as well as learning. Just over and over again, they're here to support, they're here to, it's great to visit with everybody. And, and Kathy, I know you're always involved with the sequel karaoke, which yes. is always a great time. <laughs> yes, yes. I was actually the person that originally introduced the community to sequel karaoke in probably, I'm going to say 2006 is the first time just a handful of us, four of us went to karaoke because I love to go. And somehow it has snowballed since then. So everybody can blame me for getting sequel karaoke started in the community. So if you didn't get a good picture, this is this is who's to blame, Kathy. Yes, I'm to blame. Kath, to Kathy, blame. thank you so much for thank taking you. the time to visit with us, and I love to see. You. I can't wait to see you next until next year. All right. And I we'll be back in Seattle. Yeah, can't wait to see you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm here with Eric, who is a first timer at Pass Summit. Eric, can you tell us why you decided to come to Pass Summit this year? Uh, I was. The only one available, I mean, not the only one available, but the uh, first pick for going with my company, SNL Financial. Uh, and I took the opportunity, leaped on it. So and has it been a good opportunity so far? It's been great. Uh, had good sessions and uh, met lots of people, connected. That's awesome. And how do you plan to stay connected to them after the conference? Are you on social media or you've got their business cards? Yeah, I signed up on Twitter because of pass. So, yeah, through social media. And uh, emails, phone numbers, whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Eric. And uh, how are you enjoying the NASCAR Hall of Fame so far? Uh, this is great. It gives me an in insight into high performance. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. And uh, so I've never seen anything like it before. So it's really interesting to me. Uh, Where's home for you, Eric? Uh, Charles, no, Richmond, Virginia. Awesome. Thanks so much, Eric. All right, that's it. I'm here with Michael Wells. He's from Florida. Uh, did a presentation. Did you was your presentation today, Michael? I too. One yesterday and one today. What did you talk about? What was your experiences like? How was the uh, sessions? How they go for you? They were great. Uh, first one yesterday was uh, automating installation of SQL Server with PowerShell, packed house, and then today we did DBA automation with PowerShell, and they were lined up out the door. So it was incredible. One of the neat things about having the opportunities to come to these events in person that I've been telling people over and over again is how you can network with the speakers. Have you had the opportunity to talk to some of the people that have been attending? Are you able to uh, um, Are you able to get a lot of questions and answers done? Most definitely. In fact, uh, I've taken the opportunity at a number of after hours parties to sit and talk with people about problems and, and pass along my contact information because I love to talk tech. So. So I noticed that you're here, you were kind of admiring some of the cars. Are you a NASCAR fan? Are you having a good time? Uh, I enjoy racing. I'm not a huge NASCAR fan, but I enjoy racing, and it, it's, it's uh, great to get in here and see the old cars. Where else can you have such a great, spe uh, a great attendee party? You, you go to the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Nowhere. This, this is awesome. Hey, we're going to see what we can do to talk to some other people. Michael, thanks for your time. Thank you. Well, Chris, I've just had such an awesome time catching up with all the attendees tonight. How about you? I've had a great time. It's been a lot of fun. Did you get to talk to any first-timers? I did. I talked to two or three first-timers, talked to some friends that I haven't seen in a while, people I've known for 10 years. So, yeah, it's been a wonderful time, and I'm kind of ready to, to go visit, maybe uh, enjoy some fermented beverages of some sort. How about you? I think that sounds like a great idea, and I've actually made some new buddies, and I'm going to go hang out with them now. It sounds like a plan. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Chris.